Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Hotso here in the southern Drakensberg. Yes, we had a very nice evening. It was nice. Nice and warm. And we had a little fire going. And it was just fantastic. Yes, an electric blanket. Oh, Woo! oh yes. What luxury. Absolutely. And now today we are going to have a bit of a drive out. The folks over here say that the drive to the bottom of Sani Pass is beautiful. So we can't go up because we don't have our passports with us. And in any case, we're a bit um, weary with uh, the snowy and icy conditions. Yeah. Um, so we've decided oh, we might go and have a look and see what the beautiful road is that they were saying. Um, to the bottom of the pass, at least. Yeah. So we've driven back the little way towards Sony Pass. And yeah, easy.
assim. Oh, yes, you freeze yourself young. <laughs> I wonder if you can drink the water. I don't know. Probably it's coming straight from the high bird, so yes. There's no settlements or anything, yeah. Yeah, so it's probably pure mountain water. Yeah. Icy cold and refreshing. There's a little stream down there. It just gets more and more and more beautiful the further you go. Absolutely, yes. We cannot go any further. <laughs> Oh, this is the border post and I wonder if I just go in and turn and come out. Uh, I suppose you could. Because we can't go up because we don't have our passports. Nope, unfortunately, no. There's the board, South Africa border post. Mm -hmm. Here it is. South Africa, Sony Pass, Border Control. There's the policeman up at the top. And that's as far as we can go, folks. Okay. So we gotta we turn around. Have to just turn here. Yep. Right, so we're on our way back now from the bottom of Sony Pass. And we're stopping at some of these viewpoints along the way. Oh, but it's just absolutely beautiful here. The mountains are so, so beautiful here. I mean, wow. If you're not doing Sarni Pass, just drive out to the base of the pass. It's just spectacular. I can't stop taking pictures. <laughs> can't you stop taking pictures? No. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and there, oh dear, there, there, Sony Paul snakes up, but anyway. Yes, pity that we don't have our passports, but wow, it's just something we'll have to come and do. Maybe later this year, you never know. Okay, we passed this on our way in. So, well, we thought let's have a stop and have a look. Um, the board says it is Good Hope Heritage Site. So we're hoping there would be some kind of information boards somewhere to tell us a little bit about, uh, a little bit about what this actually is. I well, let's get out and go and have a look. Yeah. Right, there hasn't been a board yet. But this looks almost like as if it could be the oldest of the ruins that is here. So maybe here's some information. Hmm. No. Not really. Here was an old fireplace. Yeah. So, I don't know what this place used to be. The only Good Hope I know is the Cape of Good Hope. Yes. But that's very far from here. <laughs> Looks as if it could have been a storeroom. Yes, it's big enough. So, I don't know. When the screen goes by, just behind it, yeah. just behind this whole little place, yeah. There it is. See a mountain stream. Anyway, even though we don't really know what this is. Uh, we will look it up and let you know. Let's go. Let's go, yeah. So, I looked it up 
and that Good Hope Heritage Site is actually the Good Hope Trading Post. The remains of a trading post that used to be down at the bottom of the pass um, between South Africa and uh, Lesotho in the days when it was only a bridle path for horses to come over and then they used to trade um, cross-border there apparently that's all information that I can find out about that or those ruins there at least but I did see something interesting that it was only in 1948 I think I read that the first man actually drove the pass um, what did I say his name was Godfrey oh I've forgotten oh no oh no I forget it was Godfrey Edmund Godfrey Edmund was the first man who drove the pass now that was before there was even a road so apparently there's mixed uh, uh, reports um, one lot of people say that it took him like 14 hours and another lot like five hours but he had a whole lot of people with teams of mules and things that tried to help him and they manhandled the vehicle probably around the corners and they had ropes and things so well I, that's the only information I could really find about that um, yeah, but that's it that's what it is Welcome back. So, what are we going to do now? Well, I'm not sure. You can't go hike anywhere mm. because the hikes are all at like a minimum of four hours, so... You must be in the deer. Well, I suppose one could, you know. <laughs> well... So, I think we're going to end the video here. And we will see you all a little bit later. And tomorrow there's going to be something exciting, exciting happening. So stay tuned <laughs> for that. I hope all goes well and it works out. That's all I'm going to say now. So if you enjoyed this one, remember... Big thumbs up, please. Like... And don't forget to subscribe, please. Yes, it's for free. And then you won't miss out yeah. when we load our exciting adventure. Mm -hmm. Especially tomorrow's one. Especially tomorrow's one, yes. So then we will say goodbye for now. And we'll see you further down the road. Bye.